What's kicking y'all? Quick Panic here, and I am back today with the Garage Test for Episode 2 of the Deck Garage, and we're going to be using the True Draco Wind Witch Invoke deck that we built together. And I'm going to go ahead and play my buddy uh, Julian, and we're going to go ahead and get this thing started. Hopefully this does better, or this goes better than last time. See, we're still rocking out with the Ancient Fairy Dragon because that was plus. Oh, we lost. We're going second. Okay, so... Uh, I told him to bring something not totally hot garbage because I know he likes to play his uh, ghost trick deck, which is not the awesomest thing in the world. But we'll get some sort of real idea of how this deck plays. This is something that I really want to try. Um, this looks okay-ish. This looks okay-ish. Um, so we have the Ice Bell, which is always a good start. And... We have Ghost Ogre, which is always nice. We have a Hand Trap. We have a Kaiju. Like, it doesn't really matter what he's playing. I think we're going to get to play some cards. The only only thing is this Invocation doesn't have a buddy, unfortunately. Of course you open Jank. Get wrecked. I'm a good sport, too, just for the record. Mm-hmm. Are we done? Just set two? Yes? There we go. Start turn. Cool. Oh, we got the Aliaster we wanted. Okay, so standby phase. Main phase. And let's go ahead and reveal. I said reveal. We are special summoning this. And we are going into our deck. And we're special summoning this. And we want to make chain link to glass bell. Uh, yeah. Because we don't have a way to replace this, this ice bell. And we have the one extra one in hand, so it doesn't matter if he has something to answer it. We're good. Okay, cool. So we burn for how much? And one of these. One of these burns. I know you do. You can special summon. You cannot. Uh, you can normal summon. Uh, 500. Minus 500. Sorry, I haven't used Wind Witches in a while. But we're going. We're getting our thing. We're going to have a good time to the hand. Special summon in defense. To grave. To grave. And we might as well go for the winter bell. We're not going to activate the effect, though. And then to the grave. To the grave. I'm assuming this is all fine. He hasn't said anything yet, so. Uh, crystal wing. Woo! Minus 2,000. And then we'll go ahead and normal summon. See, this is why I like the deck. Like, if they had a barrier or something to stop all that, like, I still have another play. It doesn't feel as bad as Zoo. Good? Yes? Is it good? Yeah, this, okay. Looks like it's good. So, we'll go ahead and add that. And then we'll go ahead and activate. Show, show me the barrier, too. Show me the barrier too. Nothing? Si, senor. We are activating. Barrier. Show me the barrier. It's okay. You can barrier me. And I'm going to poke you for a thousand. We'll get on our merry way. Barrier. <laughs> I called it. Oh, man. Attack directly. Let's go, my man. This is actually uh, none of the decks working right now. So this is a good start. Um, this is actually Alistair Beatdown slash Wind Witch Burn. Because that's the only kind of damage we do. But we got rid of two back rows, right? And we are we have one card who's kind of floating on the field. Think phase. That's a new phase. A lot of players skip the think phase. And they just skip through to the uh, roll my face on the board phase. But you know. That happens. That's part of the game sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't matter how good you are, and you can just play Zodiacs 
and have zero ability to think and you still and it's fine like you can mess up that happened a lot last format when players would be playing the uh fusion combo and they'd be like oh man i totally nagged i did something wrong and then i would proceed to still lose even though they messed up okay Ooh. well we have the ghost ogre I mean, he's going to get the search in the end phase, but he doesn't get the spell or trap. Um, special summon broken. Okay. All Gucci, my mate. Looks good. So I was actually thinking about playing Metal Foes at some point um, when I was playtesting just because I was so frustrated with the zoo thingy. But... I mean, we're running into the same problem here, I'm pretty sure, is that barrier hits the deck. The only thing is I have 1,900 attackers <laughs> in, in that version in uh, Metal Foe. But we can Pendulum and we can Fusion Summon in Metal Foes. And then having a searchable strike is always nice. Volt Flame. He said, win this turn. Okay, I see you, big dog, on your woof woof. Okay, so if we normal summon that, we can search the other one, and that doesn't do anything. Um, so... We're going to go ahead and standby phase, main phase. Let's go ahead and normal summon. And we'll activate the effect of our Stratos. I wish. It's a wind. It's close. Level four. Almost there. Look, we should have... See, this is... I should have had... <laughs> I should have had um, a level eight synchro. Wait, I have Stardust. Oh my gosh. We do have a level eight synchro. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what the heckles I'm talking about. Um, so we'll go ahead and add this to the hand. Ha! Didn't even think about that, right? So, uh, you can add one when they also can add special summons for the rest of the turn, except for wind, and that's fine. That's exactly what we are doing. We are doing that. And we are going for my good friend Stardust Dragon. Ha! Huh. I like that. I'm a fan. And then, Invocation. Bring it on. Show me what you got. Activate it. Do it. Stop it. Bring it. You got it? Woo! Okay, so we have to banish this. And then we're going to go ahead and banish a... I don't think it really matters. And we're going to go ahead and get our... No, I'm not showing. I'm sorry. I have fat fingers. Is this where we attack into, like, a storming mirror force? This is bad playing. Don't do this at home. But I feel like he's not playing it. Invocation effect. Two top deck. Yeah. Is that good? Is that beautiful? Is that fun? Is that fine? You're fine with it. I think Stardust can negate uh, the Metal Foes card, so this might be a cool next turn. I have to read it. But, okay, he's, he's not getting anything. Oops. To top deck. And shuffle shuffle. I forgot how manual this uh this app is, this website. Shuffle? Can we shuffle? Okay, cool, cool. Um so battle phase. Attack directly. Let's go. I mean I guess Raging could book himself if things got nasty. Like if there was actually a thing. And then game? Is that game? Do you have anything? Oh, man, the full Metal Foes fusion. Okay. I mean, we can still rage in whatever he does. What is this going to be? Mithrilium. Book it. Boop. Bye. I think he gets a metal forward back, right? Yep. And that's fine. In the grave or he doesn't have does he have anything? Oh yeah he does. He just put a bull flame in there. Okay, during either player's turn that would destroy a card on the field. Okay, so we can actually negate um 
the metal foes when they try to activate their effects. So that puts them in a really bad position. I'm I'm pretty sure we win this one. Like, yes, I have one heckles of a top deck. So I like this so far. If we start with the Wind Witch, it's pretty cool. You didn't get to see any True Draco stuff. Um, but if we did play against True Draco or our Zoo, we had Gamma Seal, which is decent. I don't think Julian did anything wrong. GG. All right, next next game. Nope, he had another Ariadne. That's rough. Okay, so we're playing against Pendulums, but we're going second. Um, so Ash Blossom, is it good? I mean, there are a couple cards that stops, right? Maxi is not good. So we'll do Maxi for an Ash Blossom. And we'll do... Book of Moon doesn't really do anything either for an Ash Blossom. And then... I don't think we want to do Twin Twisters, but these Kaijus are actually kind of booty. So we'll put in, I feel like the Twin Twisters. I think we can afford to put in both Twin Twisters, honestly. And then going second, I think, I mean, I still like the Strikes. So swap cards. I think that's how it works. Yep. And we're done siding. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it. Is he still siding? Oh my gosh. What is he doing, man? Okay, there we go. So we get to go second twice in the same video, which is cool. Oh, see, this is one thing I do not like about this, about including the true Draco stuff, is that we have these true king, true Draco spells and traps and no monsters to tribute them off for. So in... The long run, I might be switching to just invoked True Draco, uh, invoked. Uh, I'm sorry, invoked Wind Witch if I decide to play this deck, and just include some text. So it's kind of slow starting up when you just play the pure because you don't have any way to create tribute fodder or fusion fodder for yourself. So I've actually been testing Thunder Dragon and it's been doing very well. And I'm not going to take all the credit for that. I saw it in a. Uh, top deck in Japan because they're using a lot of True Draco Wind Witch invoked um spell books kind of thing uh they're using it as an engine oh man he's gonna be so sad he's gonna be so sad and um that was kind of like the premise that i wanted to use but the format's different we have way more extenders and way more um consistency with our zodiac deck it's just more potent so it makes the fact that you have to take so long to set up not as good plus we don't have the speed of the um, spellbook stuff where they can just discard or send a, a, a spellcaster to the graveyard and then draw two cards kind of like wonder wand it's like destiny draw so that makes it a lot faster makes a big difference um do you have anything else my friend my buddy my pal Doesn't look like it. I mean, he could. Does he have another? If he has, if he has another uh, metal foe, he has another metal foe. Are you there? Are you alive? Okay, there we go. God, gosh, diggity darn it. That I mean, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. So we need another play because my ice spell is definitely going to get striked. Unfortunately, that's not where that goes. Actually, there we go. Yeah, because we don't. He doesn't really have a follow-up, but if he strikes my ice spell, that's it. So we need an Alistair, or we could we could really use... Actually, either True Draco's work. I'd rather have a Dynamite Knight Knuckler. Um, you can have Strike. Wow. Wow. Tough choice, bro. Yeah, so we need another monster right here. Um, Alistair, practically any other monster. I mean, if we get a another ice spell, I can only activate her effect once, right, per turn. Yeah. 
I didn't look at it. What was it? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, full metal foes fusion. Okay. Uh, metal foes fusion. No, oh, I still can't see around my mic. <laughs> I need to figure out how YouTubers do this. If anybody has tips on how to make it so I don't type like I'm bad at life, biz, tar I mean, what am I going to do? I didn't have a response for the other one. Um, I just, do I, do I have to back farther? That's what I do. Maybe I need a bigger desk. Who knows? So unfortunately, he's getting his deck going with the Metal Foe stuff, and we are at the mercy of his strike, unfortunately. He has a counter, so he can pull out a big 2400 beater. Um, if he tries to Pendulum, though, we have a strike. So we have... Oh my goodness. That is insane, man. Insane. Got zero brain. I bet he thinks he's really good right now. I bet he does. Guess what? He's not. All in good fun. Just kidding. Yup, that looks like that looks how like how you do these things. That's how you do it. By stealing. Get out of here, stealing. There we go. We're making the Mithrilium. And that's the strike in his hand. So we have strike and we have a counter to play around. Like I said, if we have a follow-up play, we are Gucci, 100%. Um, I can make a Mechaba, which is 2,500, and can run over. We can negate some stuff. So Aliaster would be prime. So if we do, what do we do though? I think I think what we do is we use the Aliaster and bait. Oh, is that the strike? No, that's the counter. Okay. What, what, Bismuth gear happens at the end of the pendulum target, activate biz. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm missing things. Okay, so we have full metal foes fusion. We have the counter. Shuffling up his hand so I don't know what's strike and what's whatever else he drew. I mean, another nice card to draw right now would be the twin twisters we just sighted in. Right? There's one set, and where's the other one? There we go. And then we just hit the two on the side. And then Bismuth Gear Effect. I mean, that's a really strong opening. That was a lot of a lot of stuff, and there are no zoo cards needed. And that and that was through my Ghost Ogre. So that's a thing. Okay. Um, Twin Twisters. Dragonic Diagram. Um... We can do some things, but I don't want to, I don't want my ice belt to die. So, um, stand by phase, main phase, activate. And then we're gonna get rid of apocalypse, I'm pretty sure. Diagram, please resolve. Please resolve. So, full metal foes fusion counter. Oh, yeah. So, we get Knuckler, or whatever your name is in English. And then. Target that guy. It would have been cool to have a heritage so we can kind of eat through those back rows. I guess we could have, what we should have done is we should have attacked over Mithrilium and then gotten the Dynamite Knight effect, maybe. Reading, reading. All I have to do is read the part where your guy is dead. So he's going to get his monster. He doesn't have anything in the graveyard. I mean, he gets a stealing. Big deal. No, I'm, not, I'm not scared of that. That's fine. So bye. Yep. That's good. Now. Oh, this is a pendulum monster. One, okay, metal foes pendulum monster. 
So we do this and then we normal summon. Uh, I'm gonna pop another monster, another thing. So the benefit of this is, well, we can still go. No, I think I think we're still in good we're in good shape. So we're gonna pop off something. And it's gonna get its effect. So whatever, that's fine. I'm actually gonna pop off the Bisma gear. Pop off the Bisma gear, and then I can attack over it. And but I have the strike for next turn. So he's gonna have the setup for all of his pendulums. But I'm just gonna strike whatever he pendulums, and I don't think he has anything else for it. He has. Uh, so now we can get our dynamite knight effect oh he went for it he went for it unless he drew another one in that case no but he shuffled his hand i feel like he's fine with that um reveal is this fine if he has something for that, then we lose, for sure. That's all our cards. <laughs> Woo! So, special summon defense. And this is all one effect, for the record. They can't, like, chalice the first one, so I don't get the second one. Um, so, we put Ice Spell. We want Ice Spell to be... Um, yeah, so Ice Spell will be Chain Link 1, and then Glass Spell Chain Link 2. So, minus 500, buddy. So we'll go ahead and get this. And we will special summon in defense. And we'll go ahead and toss, toss. Now the benefit here is I can summon an Alistair and I am gonna be sitting pretty in Suntan City. Um, do I want to hold, thinking, wait? This is where I, I should have gone for Clearwing, I'm guessing. Make me regret it. Make me regret it. Learning experience. Yeah, 2,500. We should have just gone for that. Ah. Well, I don't know what he could have. Like, this is where... I mean, you don't strike until the crystal wing. Are you... Is it barrier? No, full metal photos fusion. See, I should have gone for clear wing. I'm so... Yeah. I'm so not good at this game. Once per turn during your opponent's turn, you target one effect monster, equip it to the start of this. Ugh. Upsetting. Well, we got nothing for that. Uh, end phase. Well, the best we can do is strike whatever he gets. <clears throat> Yeah, because if we had clear wing, we could have negated that, right? Well, he's a level one. Doesn't clear wing need to be level five? Once per turn during the player's turn, well, you can negate him. Once per turn during the player's turn, monster that targets. Yep, yep, yep. Should have gone for clear wing. Whew. man, I'm good at this game. Please just pendulum summon everything so I can end your life. Please. Okay. Once per turn, um, he can just keep stealing them. I can't do anything about that. Literally nothing, I don't think. I took out the Kaijus. I think I kept Raigeki in. Man. 
We goofed, guys. Hmm. Well, this is how we learn. Playtesting. Should have gone for the clear wing synchro dragon. And we would still be happy face today. Oh man, Windwitch Winterbell. You are booty, I'm sorry. Why why did I even include you in the deck? Anything? Bueller. Man, this is super frustrating when you know that you've lost the game and you're just still sitting here playing through it. Rough, rough, rough. Still in the draw face. Broken. Well, what do we got? I really like the art for a Dragonic Diagram. We got Zodiac, Rapier, and... Uh, who are you? You're, I think you're a metal foe. Are you stealing? No, not stealing. Maybe. Gold driver effect, okay. And what is, who are you? I don't know who these guys are, but I really like the art. Masterpieces in the middle, I'm pretty sure. Who is that in the corner? Metal foe, Zodiac, random? Oh, man. We used all of our cards, and look how many cards he has. Like, I feel like we can turn this around only... Like, I would have scooped. I wouldn't be wasting everybody's time. But we have a strike, and we have the ability. We have three, four, five, six, seven cards that get us Alistair plus Invocation left in the deck. So, that's fine. We got nothing for it. Yep. It's good. Oh, is he gonna... Oh, man. If he uh, if he targets the strike, then we, we just lose. And I'm not gonna bother. Well, he's not gonna do the other cards. Obvious, I mean, he's obviously choosing. Yeah. GG. Game three. Okay, now we get to start. I'm not playing through all those cards again. Okay, since we're going first, we want to have Anti-Spell Fragrance in here, so let's go ahead and we're going to cut some cards out. We'll cut the... I don't want to. <laughs> There's no really excellent cards to take out of here. Um, so we'll take out... Oh, we don't need Raigeki if we're going first. And we don't need... Let's take out the Ash Blossoms, I guess really don't want to but this is way better this way and we also want to if we're going first let's also take out a ghost ogre and for ghost ogre I feel like we put in imperial order imperial order kind of hurts us though let's just put in a, a warning yeah so swap cards I almost went in without swapping cards and we're done sighting let's go so this is like my main strategy for when I'm side decking is I like to put in a lot of traps if I'm going first and if I'm going second I usually have like to have hand traps and since I can't guarantee that I'll go first I'll just play with the hand traps game one and then side into all the traps the actual traps for game two. Okay so we learned that we always go clear wing synchro dragon that was uh, one piece that I like to take away from this uh, we still I dynamite knight did some stuff I guess. I don't know. All the True King and True Draco cards felt like hard minuses, didn't they? Yeah. I feel like if you're going to play them, you have to go pure or just do the Invokes True Draco that I did. I'd like to activate the first card, please. I like how it's light and going second is dark because that's how your soul feels. Oh my gosh. This is, Okay, we're not. We're definitely not playing. Holy Toledo. Can you? I can't, but... Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm going to keep the Ghost Ogre in hand and keep the True King's Return as well. I wish. Right, Bubble Man? What's a monster? Ghost Ogre is mocking me for keeping her in. 
I'm sorry. I was trying to be good. I guess not. Okay, so if you don't know where I'm going with this, I'm definitely not playing True King, True Draco in with all this. This is absolute butterscotch. Double Bisma gear. You can only activate... Um, that's where we Twin Twister. Bye. This is why I don't want to play a Pendulum deck, because I feel like Twin Twister is definitely going to be really popular. So he's going to get to replace one of those, which is the thing. Yep, that's fine. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should have Ogred, and then I could uh, Twin Twister those two in the end phase. Because now if I do draw into a monster, I'm playing through back rows, which is unfortunate. Or it can just blind Cosmic Cyclone, which is bad. And if I get a Dynamite Knight, I don't even want to summon it on my opponent's turn if he doesn't have a monster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, we're so good at this game. Like, I can't even tell you. I can't, like, literally, I can't even tell you. I mean, show me two more Metal Foes so I can ditch my Ghost Ogre. He has two more cards than we do. It's so upsetting. Plus, he has the Bismic Gears loaded. Locked and loaded. Not that you can Special Summon him with anything. Unless he's playing that Penguin card. You know the one. The one that just came out, Maximum Crisis. Luster, Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. Okay, so first we hit him with the Ghost Ogre, right? Yeah, we hit him with the Ghost Ogre. Yeah, the scale's good. He's expecting another Twin Twister. Uh, get the flippity flops out of here. Activate another. What is this? One through eight pendulum first. Um, I mean, I feel like this is bad. Nope, nope, nope. But we don't have anything. <laughs> oh man, this is ugly. So we banish the target. Oh, he's just gonna leave the scales. He doesn't want to activate anymore. Okay. Oh. Golly. Well, let's play this. Oh. That's not what I meant to do. We're going to play this cute little trick. Um, diagram effect. So what's cool about this is I can activate Diagram's effect and chain a quick play spell or a trap and then destroy that on resolution for a Dragonic Diagram because cards that are activated in a chain actually don't go to the graveyard until the end of the chain. Okay. So view. And I guess we're getting this. And that's the end of it. Kind of stinks. Yeah, okay, so if we learn nothing, so we're not going to win this one, I don't think. Oh, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> yes, we did it. We drew the snowball. <laughs> Diagram effect. Get out of your snowball. You're so trash. Is it good? Is it good? We're in main phase one, I'm sorry. Is it good, my friend? He's probably playing Smash Bros again. We're trying to deck build, and all I could hear was Smash Bros in the background, and then he's playing while we're supposed to be deck building. Priorities. Probably going to go whoop his butt in Smash Bros after this. Don't do anything. Let it happen. Let it happen, please. 
Yes! And then we get to look at this, and we're going to get our... What do we get? We get heritage? Yeah. So that goes away. And then we normal summon. That goes to grave. Um, heritage effect. I'm not, not even worried about the back rows at this point, honestly. We need to get rid of the scales so he doesn't have plays. Cool. Battle phase. Yeah. I guarantee he's going to say 25, right? Nope. 2,800. We get a boost, bro. Hmm. And we're done. Okay, so we have one more trap that we, we can get True King's Return back. <laughs> Look at the sad face. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry. Or maybe he's making a sad face because that's going to be me in a second because he drew Jesus. Man, this is going to be a long video. I hope you guys don't mind. I don't think you want to see just one game, though. And I, I really don't like the montages where they're, like, recording games against random decks and they just, like, montage through the whole entire thing. That's so boring to me. Hopefully hopefully you like the interaction. A lot of YouTubers that I watch, like, I just like their voice and I just like to listen to them. I don't even watch the videos half the time and I don't know what they're talking about. I just like to have them playing in the background. So maybe that's the same concept for one or two of you, I hope. Oh, no! Well, goodbye, friend. Little does he know. Um, activate during the end phase. Oh, never mind. Haha, <laughs> awkward. Awkward, awkward. Okay, so we have this, which is cool. So we'll go into battle phase. We'll attack directly. We could get masterpiece and be unaffected by monster effects. But Diagram would have to pop into Spell Fragrance, and I don't like that. So, End Phase. End Turn. And then immediately we're going to flip this baby. We did it! And here comes the Cosmic Cyclone real quick. Drop it. Drop the Cosmic Cyclone. Take away my soul. Oh, he was ready. He's like, I, I was setting this anyway. Oh. So if we do Diagram, Tribute this off. Um, that'd be putting all of our whatever uh, one of my buddies told me that I don't go ham enough so we're going to do that uh, we're going to go ham we're going to get rid of the twin twisters I mean he can't play oh brood <laughs> so we'll set this Battle phase, take him down to 800. Now he cannot activate his premature burial. He cannot activate autonomous action unit. And if I draw into Poison of the Old Man, he's done. This is actually Gamma Seal beat down now. Like, you've seen the evolution of the deck. We haven't dropped Masterpiece. Crystal Wing hasn't gone through. Um, so I'm not sure what to tell you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought the concept was good. All right, that's all I got for today then. We're done, and we actually won, which was pretty cool. And so I'm actually going to make some changes to this. I'm going to take out the True Draco stuff. It, it's, it was a good concept, and maybe we can play it once Link format comes around, but it's just not... I don't think it's reliable. I don't think it's feasible right now. Maybe I had the build wrong. So in the comment section down below, let me know if I did something wrong uh, other than the things I already said. And... Um, as far as building the deck. Maybe there's some changes that you might want to recommend um, other than tracking out the true Draco stuff, which was actually just pretty bad. Um, but leave a like down below if you like this series. I'm going to keep it coming every week and I'm actually going to do something fun next week. So like I said in the last video, I want to do something fun and then I want to do something serious, fun, serious, and back and forth, you know. But anyway, that's all I got for today. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Later!